my name's Fran and you're watching another Photoshop tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you five quick tips in Photoshop. These are very very quick tips that you can use within your Photoshop workflow, mainly for beginners but if perhaps if you're intermediate or advanced level you might not know about these either. Photoshop is so um, advanced and it's got so much information, so many tools in there that it's not possible to know absolutely everything. So hopefully you'll learn something today, so let's get started. So tip number one is very simple. It's all about switching between the different tools within a group. So all the tools at the side here all have different tools within each group. For example, the spot healing tool has the healing brush. It also has patch and some others. So when we're working, say, for example, with the spot healing tool, what happens when we want to switch to the healing brush and then we want to switch to patch? We have to go over to the spot healing tool and switch back to the healing brush, which is kind of redundant and you're constantly in and out of menus. So there's actually a shortcut for that, which is shift and J, which will switch to the next tool within that group. So if we're on spot healing, it will go to the healing brush. And then if you hit it again, it will go to patch, hit it again, it goes to the next one, then the next one then goes back to the beginning to spot healing. So it's just a really, really quick way of switching between those tools, especially if you're using a lot of them from that same group. Now this tip will actually work with the rest of the tools as well. So it's very handy and is great if you're working with all the various tools within that group. So tip two is all about changing the size and the hardness of the brush. This will work with the brush tool, the stamp tool, spot healing, etc. And it's just an easier way of quickly changing both pretty much at the same time without having to go into all the different drop down menus and the tool and option bar at the top. So by hitting control and alt you'll see this red dot which is like a visual indication of how soft the brush is and how big the brush is as well. So by moving the cursor up and down this will change the softness of the brush and moving the cursor left to right will change the size of the brush. So it's a very quick way of doing both those things pretty much at the same time and will save you a little bit of time in your workflow. So for tip three I'm going to be showing you how you can give your images added sharpness using the high pass filter. Using high pass can give you a real boost of sharpness and contrast and real depth to the image. It's really simple, just duplicate your layer, head up to filter, then other and then high pass. You'll get this sort of grey screen um, which is fine because you're going to change the blending mode to soft light. You can also change it to overlay or hard light depending on your preferences but I mainly choose soft light because it just gives it a subtle sharpness and you can see the before and after it really gives it a great sharpness and really brings out a lot of the white colours and real gives it depth and yeah it just looks fab so yeah high pass if you want to use that in your images please do because it really creates a really dramatic and sharp feel to your images so tip four is a technique i use 100 percent of the time in my workflow it's really simple as soon as you import an image it will be at a certain percentage on the screen and if you want to zoom in most of the time we use command plus um, to zoom into the image to where we want it to be but if you want to get into 100% straight away, just hit Command and 1, which will get it to 100%. You can see here it's super quick and you can start retouching your image. And if you want to revert back to the full size image on screen, just hit Command and 0. So tip 5 is a technique for the type tool. It's all about previewing each font or each different typeface that we have in Photoshop and it's really really simple. You just double click on the type layer that you want to change the typeface of. You head to the top in the options bar, you click and you can literally scroll through all the different typefaces using the up and down keys and scroll through the A to Z of all your different fonts which is really great and you can preview each uh, font, each typeface in real time on your image or on your document, which is fantastic. So again, I'm bringing you another bonus tip for this episode and it's about using the type tool. So as you can see on screen, I've written out Eiffel Tower using capital and lowercase letters. Now what happens if you wanna change that to all capitals? This is a really simple technique. You just double click the layer that you want changing, 
then head to window, then character, and just here is a bunch of different options. And this one is all caps. So if you hit that, the whole of that selection will change to capital letters, which is fantastic and a very, very quick way if you want to change an entire block of text. You no longer have to rewrite it and it's a huge time saver. And that brings us to the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching. Of course, check out tipsquirrel.com for the latest Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to thumb up this video, I really appreciate it. If you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe, it's free, and you'll be notified about my latest videos in the future. You can also follow me on Twitter at Photoshop Pro, and of course on Instagram at Photoshop Fran. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.